everything that I've received is memorable and I have a lot of what I've received around the office. I always ask for um, small things to put on my desk. I spend all my day at the computer. I spend all my day in my headphones and the things that make me happy are, are little things like this. You might get a monkey desk toy or you might get a vacation to the Bahamas, but no matter what you get out of it, Reddit gifts is quickly becoming a holiday tradition. It's Secret Santa, but online and on steroids. Someone gets your name and they uh, are not, you know, give you a gift, but you don't know who that's going to be. And then you get someone else, not necessarily the same person, and they don't know who you are and you kind of pick it uh, out a gift for them. Except we're doing it with 30,000 people. Eric Martin is the general manager of Reddit, a social news site where users vote on links and discussion topics submitted by other users. Its thriving community is organized into sections known as subreddits. And now we have, you know, thousands of subreddits with, with the very active users and there's subreddits about everything from, you know, Toledo, Ohio has a subreddit. Uh, there's a subreddit about every sports team out there and there's, you know, huge subreddits for any popular video games, TV shows, and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there's there's a ton of different communities inside this one bigger community. In one of the more popular subreddits, known as Ask Reddit, Dan McComas started Reddit GIFs as a Secret Santa experiment in 2009. That experiment has since blossomed into a full-time job for McComas and a hotly anticipated winter ritual for members of the Reddit community worldwide. And it's fun to participate in it. It's fun to get a gift and it's fun to find out more about your giftee and to put some thought into making another person's day better. On Black Friday, over 37,000 Redditors in 113 countries were matched up through redditgifts.com. I spent my Thanksgiving at a punk bar last night and I stayed out till 7 in the morning. And the first thing I wanted to do when I woke up was find out who I got for Reddit. Your match could be down the street or halfway around the globe, so the site encourages Santas to stalk their giftees using Reddit, Google, Facebook, and other online tools. I think it's like the only socially acceptable way to stalk online <laughs> because I mean, you're doing it out of giving, so it's fine. I mean, it's kind of scary what, how much you can find out online, but um, I don't know. I guess it's a learning experience. Redditors usually come from the geeky and tech-savvy parts of the internet, so McComas says he doesn't think the stalking is as creepy as it sounds. You know, we and many of the people probably on Reddit Gifts spend our entire days on the internet. You know, it's like 12 hours, 14 hours, something like that. It's just all day long. And I've got a pretty good idea of what is on the internet about me. Even though the gift exchange pairs are anonymous, Redditors have demonstrated an old-fashioned holiday spirit time and time again. San Jose Redditor May Nguyen says she's happy with her gift, five music CDs by indie musicians. But in the past, Secret Santa gifts have gone way beyond CDs. They've included iPads, Kindles, electric guitars, digital cameras, $1,500 in cash, and this year, a four-day cruise to the Bahamas. Mountain View Redditor Michelle Dieterich says the sense of community on Reddit inspires generosity. I mean, I can't say that that's a sister or brother that I've made friends with on Reddit, but I certainly can say that that person gives me a desire to let's put a box together and make it really cool and make it happy. And when that person opens it, whoever they are, they're going to get that energy of it just being loved for that moment, you know. On average, about 84% of the people who participate in the major Secret Santa exchanges ultimately receive a gift. And when problems inevitably come up, Dan McComas will probably hear about them. To cope with the stress of his job, he has a bookshelf full of singing plush toys in his Alameda we've office. We've got some Christmas ones. Yeah. Alright, so these are the things that get you through the day. These are the things that get me through the day. Um, we get a lot of people that are upset. A lot of people get very emotional with what we do. I think for a lot of people, this is their Christmas. This has become a lot of people's uh, one Christmas gift. What started out as a fun experiment has turned into a 24-7 passion for McComas and an online phenomenon for the world. But it's the first thing I ever did that, that worked, that people were excited about, people were hungry for, uh, people told their friends about, got press coverage, um, and it was really gratifying. Did I think it was going to end up where it did? No. Did I hope it would? Yes. Secretly. This is Eric Johnson for the Peninsula Press, a project of the Stanford Graduate Program in Journalism.